सो हाई एवरी वन टोटली टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रैक फ्रेमवर्क एज वेल एज फाइन ट्यूनिंग सो वेन टू यूज रैक वेन टू यूज फाइन ट्यूनिंग सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन बोथ ऑफ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज इवेंचुअली इट्स टाइम वी कम टू नो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू एंड वेन टू यूज विच आइडियोलॉजी मेथडोलॉजी सो रैक बेसिकली स्टैंड फॉर रिट्रीवल ऑगमेंटेड जनरेशन वेयर we are able to attach an external resource external document bit csv pdf youtube video etc with an llm and eventually we can ask the llm to use that context and give us answers uh, whereas fine tuning means that we are find we are training a pre trained llm over a specific task using training data set so let's get started let's try to understand the advantages and disadvantages so in case of rag the best part is there is no training required and if you want to have an implementation it can be done immediately so it just requires a pre trained llm and eventually following the rag architecture that i have already explained in a previous video you can immediately like within 10 minutes uh, have a llm that is able to uh, answer your queries based upon your data right hence if no training is required no computation cost and resources are required apart from that once when you are not fine tuning an llm eventually it is still a pre trained model and it can be used on multiple tasks so what you can do is that assume that one of your problem statement is question answering or financial data other is on entertainment data so you uh, so having multiple fine tuned models is a little difficult so in that case what you can do you can have a pre trained llm and eventually using different uh, rag frameworks you can establish rag architectures for different problems so the cost of uh, having an llm loaded in your memory will be highly reduced and eventually it becomes usable also rather than having multiple llms uh, for one specific problem apart from that in a rag architecture one it is a disadvantage that you can have is that you need to collaborate with multiple components like vector db embedding models are required document loaders are required all those thing need to work in synchronization coming to fine tuning as already we must you must have got it when you fine tune a model eventually its performance always increases its performance is always better as compared to rag you can't match that when you are using an external document using rag and when you fine tune the model over that same data eventually the performance over the task would be improved as compared to rag in terms of latency and quality both because in case of rag you will be having interaction with the llm multiple times while in case of fine tuning it won't be that case usually fine tuning is done for a specific task and domain so once you fine tune a model for a specific task or domain you can't use it for other tasks so this becomes a limitation so if you have 10 use cases you won't be going to find in 10 llms because it would be very very heavy to use it in production apart from that for fine tuning you need to have ample training data set rag doesn't require it but for fine tuning you need to have a label data set with you so that can be a challenge and as you know training any llm be it fine tuning task also will consume a lot of time and resources so uh, my suggestion would be if performance in terms of quality is actually a big issue then only you should go for fine tuning else rag should uh, suffice for most of your use cases